Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today I'm going to be taking a look at this neat little drone by Amcrest. This is the Skylight. Now I'm going to I'm doing my camera angle a little different today using my uh, tripod and camcorder. So let's see how this works and how this compares to using my head cam, which is of course a little bit bobbly. So we'll try a fixed camera in this review today. Anyway, this is just a line of sight flyer. There's no camera or anything on, on this drone. One thing I really like at Amcrest does is they design, they're actually a US based company, even though the drones are still manufactured in China, but a lot of the boxing and instructions are all designed in the United States. One thing that I like that they do here is they have really specific information. You got your uh, 520 uh, 20 milliamp hour LiPo, but right here it says it has 328 foot range. And you just don't see that. And if, it do, if you do get a range on a box, it's gonna be in, in metric. So it's pretty neat that they actually have the exact feet. I mean, that's really specific. And you got a seven minute flight time, and of course there's your dimensions and your weight. So let's go ahead and let's see what's inside the box. All right guys, so here's everything that comes inside the box. Of course your controller, the drone. We have some spare, uh, I always wanna say spare, but it's not spare, it's just your prop guards. Um, Spare propellers is what I'm used to saying, but you get a set of prop guards, and those are actually installed on the drone when you take it out of the box. I take them off because you get longer flight time, and of course, you know, these are tree hangers. If you're outside, only use it if you're gonna be inside. Um, and it's, quite, you know, not only will it reduce flight time, but it's also going to uh, make it a little less sporty. And here is those uh, full set of prop guards and a uh, little full screwdriver for repairs. Here's your USB charging cable and I'll show you in a minute the battery. It's just a micro USB. There's nothing particularly special about this. There's no lights or anything that it does. So you actually can use any micro USB cable if you wish. Here is the drone. So a sporty little guy. And here is the battery. The battery, as the box said, is a 520 20 milliamp hour 1S LiPo. And you can charge this using the micro uh, USB right here above my thumb. Just plug that in and uh, charge it up. And that little green light will shine on the battery when I believe it goes out whenever it's finished. And that's going to take you, you know, around an hour or so probably to charge up, maybe a little less. You could also just insert it into the drone here. Make sure that I get it inserted correctly. And you can just charge it with the battery inserted by plugging the micro USB connector in right here on the side of the drone. Though, um, you, you, I couldn't see any light, so you don't know when it's fully charged. You have to just let it sit there, you know, for a couple hours. So I prefer to take the battery out and actually charge it. It does not have a camera on this particular version. Uh, there is another one that I have from them that actually does have a camera in the nose. That's just a white LED. Uh, there's red and green LEDs here on the bottom. So let me go ahead and turn it, power that up. Of course, they're flashing because I'm not bound. You've got green in the rear and you've got red in the front. And like I said, the power button here on the side, is little just tab that you press in on the side of the drone. Um, Looks to me like this is direct driven on the props. So it is a little noisier than I'd expect, but I don't believe there's any gears in there, though I'm not certain. It actually, looking more closely, this probably is gear driven because you can see the motors off to the side and not directly underneath. So I take that back. This is gear driven and that's why it's sort of noisy. Sometimes drones this size, you actually just get direct drive where the prop sits on top of the motor. I actually prefer that, but you know, for whatever reason, they needed to go with the gears for maybe the type of motors that this drone uses, it needed to have gears for the right RPM on that. And here is the controller. It's a rather large controller, but it's nice. You know, it's it's nice in your hands. It's got altitude hold, of course. So that's gonna cut back on some of the sportiness. You got your trim buttons here on the front. This button up here on the top, they say is your auto takeoff, but it really is just unlock the motors and then you have to give it throttle to take off, but it will do an auto landing by pressing it and it will come on down and land. This other right bumper on top does nothing. It's not functional. To do 360 flips, you're gonna press in on the right stick in the direction you wanna go, and it will do is 360 flips. And uh, the, the left stick here is gonna be your speed rates. It's got three speed rates, so the yaw does not 
change at all uh, whenever you press it uh, whenever you go through the speed rates it's the same yaw speed but it's a lot sportier with a much more pitch in the higher rates to calibrate the gyros you're just going to go down and to the left and the lights will flash if you need to recalibrate the gyros all right well there's not much to this guy this is pretty much it so let's move along now and go on outside for that flight review hey guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be taking the little amcrest skylight drone up for its test flight now, i've removed the prop guards from this drone because that's just getting a little weight make it a little less sporty and it'll also decrease your flight time this is just a basic little line of sight flyer with the led there in the nose this is this one doesn't have a camera there's another version of this with a camera which i'll be reviewing you know, shortly on the channel but this is one we're just going to take up today for its line of sight uh, flight so what you want to do is just turn the drone on it has the on and off switch here's a little button you press in on the side and you can see a little red in the front green in the rear leds and of course the white light which will be the most helpful to uh, maintain orientation the controller you're just going to turn it on here in the bottom and we'll do our binding sequence and we should be good to go we're bound up now to do a level calibration on this, I'm going to set the drone here on the table and back up. Hopefully it shows up. It's down and to the left. I can see it flashing, but you guys aren't going to be able to see that. I'm just going to take it off here from the table and we'll fly it around. Now the top left bumper here is uh, just unlocks the props, I believe. It doesn't actually do an auto takeoff, even though the instruction manual says that it does. You have to go ahead and manually take off. Oh, we're going to bump into the umbrella. <laughs> Got the umbrella up to keep the sun off me. It's a really good day to fly. There's, all, there's no wind at all. I mean, it's as still as it could possibly be. But uh, it is very hot for mid-September. It is very, very hot. So there's the first rate. Really slow. As you guys can see, there's not much pitch. It's doing just fine today because there's no wind. On a regular day, we have some breeze. Um, it would not be good in that rate. So to uh, fly this guy in a higher rate, you press in on the left stick, and now we got we got more pitch. I don't think the yaw increases though on this drone. Let's press in again, and you see it says a very kind of slow yaw. It's doable, but I would like to have seen the yaw increase with the rates to make it a little bit more sporty. But you have plenty of pitch. We're in the highest rate now. As you can see it flies pretty good. It's pretty sporty it's not well I mean it's pretty good it's not like super fast but for a nice little brush motor quad it does pretty good really nice stable flyer nice so look how stable that is really nice Now I actually did review this drone uh, under a different name about a year ago under the I, I think it was like I, I Base Flight or something like that. I forget, I Base Toys I think it was called. So I actually have reviewed this drone, but this I didn't realize at the time until I already got into starting the review on this. Uh, but you know, if you re review it again, Amcrest actually does uh, a lot of stuff with this drone and the packaging and the information and instruction manual but this drone is just a rebranded uh, you know Chinese drone like uh, I base toys also rebranded it but they have a lot of information on the package Amcrest really boxes up nice so I think a lot of the packaging is actually designed in Texas but of course the drones were made in China let's do some flips here you press in on the right stick and it does a flip just like the iBase toy it, it, it does flips good but it's a little herky jerky motion when you flip left and right when you do roll flips see it kind of it does a little stutter but it's not a problem it just looks kind of odd try to keep it close here because it is relatively small it's going to blend in with the uh, trees in the background they're pretty easy Yeah, it flies nice. And that white LED, it's pretty easy to see even in the daytime. It's midday today, middle of September, it's still pretty bright out. LEDs are not so easy to see though. 
Advertised flight time on this is seven minutes. They even have a specific distance and feet. <laughs> I'm impressed. I think it was something like 328 feet. Uh, the control range. I've never seen a specific range, and I've never seen it in feet. That's how you know that this actually is. You know, the packaging is actually designed in Texas because they put it in feet. You always see stuff in meters. Yeah, this flies great. Does funnels pretty good. About the only thing I'd like to see is I'd like to see a faster yaw on a higher rates. But that's not a deal breaker by any means because it still flies really nice. Let's go over here and do an auto landing and see how that works. Press uh, the uh, top left button bumper and it'll come on down you can control it of course this is an altitude hold quadcopter too so it's going to you know slow its sportiness down just a little bit as it's trying to hold altitude but again you just press the upper left button that unlocks the props and you actually have to give it throttle to take off I don't know why you know the iBase toys was the exact same you know that you use it push in on the sticks for you know rates and flips but the top left is your auto take up well, your auto unlock and your auto landing and the upper right bumper does nothing personally I'd like to see uh, the upper right button do the flips since it's not even operative the upper left I would ideally I would put my rates on that and I just make the uh, the auto takeoff or unlock and landing just pressing on the left stick since you're going to use that less often than you might use the rates. So the button configuration on this drone is not ideal, but it's you know it's not a big big problem. I would just like to see the buttons used differently. But again, that's exactly how the iBase Toys version of this is. So that's just the way it is configured out of the factory. Yeah, this flies really nice. Now we got a little breeze now kicking up now. And it has no problems. Obviously any drone this size is not going to do really well in a lot of wind. But I would not mess with the prop guards unless you were super paranoid about hitting stuff. Uh, this is small enough to fly indoors if you have some space and that's when I would put those prop guards on. Outdoors you're just going to make it uh, a little bit more sluggish in the wind. It's going to be you know, it's going to get caught up in those prop guards. It's going to add weight. It's going to decrease your flight time. It's going to make it not fly quite as sporty, probably. I only flew it with the prop guards a little indoors for a little testing indoors. Yeah, this flies awesome. Just like I remember the iBase Toys version, it, it flies great. We'll have to see how that, uh, the other version of this drone, I believe it's the same drone, it just has a camera in the nose. I'll be curious to see how that one, uh, how the camera works. It ought to fly just the same as this. Have to just see how the, the camera looks on that one. So stay tuned to the channel guys, I'll have that one coming up soon with the, uh, the camera in the nose. I think it's a 720p camera. I'm trying to think of the name of that one. I don't remember. It's something like, you know, this is Sky. What did I say? This one's Skylight. It's something, it's sim similar. I think it has something to do with the fact that it has a camera in the name in those. So I don't know what the name of that one is. I can't remember. It's very similar. Anyway, that'll be coming up on the channel. I'll get be probably reviewing that. Maybe not next, but maybe so. I'm not sure. I've got a Radio Link controller I, from Radio Link at T8S. I want to try to do a a review of that and hook that up to a truck for a ground review first to see how the controller works. So I want to get to that. Got the Cinecan, the Ishin Cinecan from John Coopy sent me that. I got to get that one bound up and to my uh, Tyrannus and then see how it how that one works so I'll have that review coming along the channel sometime but it'll probably be a little while I got to get myself 
acclimated with that drone. And I got a, a drone coming from Banggood, a little Wi-Fi FPV flyer, and I got a little brushless Remo Hobby truck coming from Banggood. So that'll be coming on the channel too. All right, well this guy flies great. Look, we, I still can take it up and check the lights. Let's see if we've got low battery yet. There's some flashing, so yeah, we're at low battery. I was gonna say we ought to be getting the low battery here soon. So it auto landed there. We'll have to see what the flight time was, but that should be somewhere around seven minute time period on that for the flight time. Yeah, nice little flyer. Unfortunately, the battery is proprietary, so you're gonna have to pick up a battery if you wanna add extra batteries to this to get even more flight time. So you got spares, but uh, yeah, it flies great. And you can charge this through the USB port on the side with the battery in, or you can pull it out and charge it right directly off the battery, which I do, so you can see the green light and you know whenever it's actually fully charged when that light goes out. All right, guys, that wraps up the review of the Amcrest Skylight little drone. Awesome little drone. There's a purchase link I'll include to this in the description if you're interested in checking this out. This is Amcrest sells these on Amazon. And again, these are actually a US-based company, which is also nice. So if you're interested, check it out. I don't know the price of this offhand, but you know, click the link to Amazon, you can find out. All right, guys, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, I appreciate the subscriptions. Um, press the bell, you know, too, so you know when I do upload a new video, because it's very easy to just miss videos because you didn't click that bell. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, side, side.